The fact that you don't see something doesn't mean that thing doesn't exist. Now, because you've not seen something and then you think it doesn't exist because you have not seen it, that's just being ignorant. There are a lot of people, the enemy, the devil, has recruited in several capacities. And the reason why he's able to do this is because they are ignorant. A lot of the people who are doing very, a lot of sinister things against people here on earth, is because they are ignorant. It's because they think, because I've not seen it, it doesn't exist. It's not true. And um, you have been told that um, an idle hand is a devil's workshop. But I will say this. An ignorant mind is equally the devil's workshop. Check and look around. The people who keep doing the wrong things against you, they keep doing the same things because they think what they are doing is right. And... They, they'll keep doing, they'll never stop. They keep, they'll keep repeating what they're doing, the wrong thing they are doing because they don't want to know what the truth is. And the devil loves it when, when, you, stay, when you stay at that level. The devil loves it because he'll use it for a very long time. Ignorance. Now, when you read um, Hosea 4 verse 6, the Bible says, and God says, like, for, for the lack of knowledge, my people perish. And that, that scripture, now, the lacking of the knowledge is also a form of ignorance. If you don't have the knowledge, you become ignorant. If you don't acquire the knowledge, if you don't, if you don't spend time, if you don't go deeper into the word to discover the word, and discover a lot of it you are going to you are going to sit down with the little you know and then think the world rules the world rotates by the little you know in your head but it's not true today ignorance the enemy is using ignorance to recruit a lot of people from low to high in society and even in the church The word was given to us for a reason and for a purpose. The word is a prophecy and was given for us to know what is going to happen in the future. Even in well, the time we are in. The times we are in and thousands of, people, thousands of people have died through COVID worldwide. In places like South America, there was no place to bury people. People were, people were left on the streets. And we have returned back um, doing things like is business as usual. It is not. Ignorance allows the devil to recruit people and you use them. If you are in a church and you will not fill yourself with the word, the devil will fill you, fill you with something else. If you are in a church, if you say you belong to Christ, and you will not fill yourself with the Spirit of God, the devil will fill you with something else. And this is what is happening. Ignorance gives the enemy access to use you, to manipulate you, to use you like a puppet. Because you don't know, he's going to use it against you. And look, I've said it several times about this person we are dealing with, he had the guts to test Jesus, who is revealed as a word in Genesis. He tested Jesus with, a, with his own word. This is how serious this issue is. If you call yourself a Christian, please, this is a time and season. Spend time yourself in the word and get to let the Spirit, let God feed you. This is, that is the reason why, through his inspiration of the Holy Spirit, he made men write these books two thousands of years ago for you, for today. Don't be ignorant. Because you don't see something, don't say it doesn't exist. And me, people continue, people are saying there's no hell. People are saying there's no heaven. The, because you've not seen it, don't say it doesn't exist. And because of that ignorance, you think there's no heaven, you think, you think there's no hell. The devil will use it against you. 
you will think there's no heaven and there's no hell. You are going to live life on earth like, like that is it. That is the only thing. Only to die and discover that after your death, you have woken up again in a different dimension. Don't be ignorant. Ignorant is what is letting a lot of people being manipulated and being they are being taught the wrong things. And we follow it when we, we, we swallow it whole. But he has given you the word. And look, on that day of judgment, he will, he will not ask you um, um, the word, why did, um, the, where was the word and all of that. It is your responsibility. If you call yourself a Christian, it's your responsibility to go in the word yourself and find out what is there. It's your responsibility because on, the, on, on that day, when he opens his books, he will not ask you, um, he will not ask you why I didn't read the word. He, he will pass his judgment no, as if you know. It's the same thing. In Ghana, in the law, they tell you, ignorance of the law does not, um, is, is not an excuse. I mean, how many people get to go through the constitution? Very few. But ignorance of the law is not an excuse. When you offend the law, it's going to be charged to you. And it's the same thing as going to happen on the judgment day. Stop letting people deceive you. Oh, there's no Jesus. There's no heaven. There's no hell. Please. And the devil, through ignorance, is using people inside church. Because we have adopted and embraced a kind of worship which is um, uh, based on what we see and what... Um, human uh, attitude and we have ignored the spirit but the spirit is very important whatever you are doing here on earth God is a spirit uh, they that want to serve him in, in truth will serve him in spirit I'm telling you how do you have a relationship with God without the spirit what kind of what are you doing so basically what a lot of what a lot of people are doing today in church is practicing the same thing that was practiced um, in Jerusalem when, where the, the priest was the only one who had the spirit and had that, it's not true. We are in a new dispensation. When Jesus has died and has released the spirit for anybody who believes in him, it is your responsibility to get into connection, to get into contact. It is your responsibility to come into relationship with the Holy Spirit. It is your responsibility. For whatever, whatever is happening, whatever you are worshipping today, if they are not teaching it, search for it. Ask for it. Pray. Ask God for the Spirit. He's going to release it to you. There are things ahead of us. A lot of people will not go through it without the Holy Spirit. You will not make it. People, you will run away. You, 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 you will reject Christ. You saw why? No, let me tell you something. You saw why? Why a lot of the apostles rejected Jesus even even before the, the, the guys got close to them. People like uh, Peter rejected him three times. Why? The Spirit was not there. So he was afraid. When the spirit is absent, you are filled with fear. The Bible wants us to walk in spirit and not in flesh because in the flesh, all you want to do is stay alive. And he has told you in the times and the, um, the persecution and all the time, some will have to die. Some will die through hunger. Some will die through, uh, through hunger. Some will be killed. The same thing that happened to apostles, it will happen again. So have the spirit because it's the spirit that allows them and allow them to go through some of the things they went through and because they were able to go through and he has told you that they do, those who endure i myself i the lord i will give them a crown of glory and we should not be like the foolish virgins there is time today to change to repent there is time today to get closer to jesus to feed more on the word of God too, so that we are not ignorant, so that the enemy is not able to deceive us. Because a lot of people are being deceived by the enemy because of the absence of the word inside of them. The enemy through ignorance is even deceiving Christians who are sitting in church and making them to do things and making them to think a certain way to even block their own blessings. Now I'm coming here to share the word with you. The Holy Spirit is released for everybody. It is your responsibility to come in contact with it. God is not deaf. If you go to him and ask God, I want, I want to have a contact. I want to, I want to connect with the Holy Spirit. He will release it to you. But if you stay here on earth, you never ask for it, and you get there. That is not his, respons his responsibility. It is your responsibility. Reading the word and filling yourself with the word of God is your responsibility. 
filling yourself with the word and growing the spirit of God inside of you is your responsibility. Nobody's going to do it for you. I don't know what kind of Christians we are raising today. Feel everybody it has to be done. Everything has to be done for them. Somebody has to pray for them. Somebody has to fast for them. What, what kind of generation are we raising? Are we raising soldiers? Is that, is that, is that what we're doing? Are we raising soldiers? Or we are raising people who, who are too dependent? Are we, we are still nursing babies. I mean, what's happening? Babies can never defend their faith. If you're a baby in Christ, you can never defend your faith. When the sword is brought out, when they, when they pull the sword out, you are going to denounce Jesus. This is what he's preparing you for. When they say tribulation, what do you think? It's a test of pe to people to defend their faith in de even to death. This is what it means. So if you think it's going to be rosy and all that, some of you are believing you'll be carried away into heaven before it happens. Look, read, the, read the, book, the book of Revelation properly. There's a lot of deception going around. And many have believed in this, so they have not prepared themselves. Don't be like the foolish virgins. Five of them prepared themselves, had extra oil. You know what that means? They are they partnered with the Holy Spirit. They have filled themselves with the word. And they remain constantly, they remain hot. They kept that connection with the Holy Spirit constantly. And they were the other five ones who thought there would be time forever and ever, though they have been told and they have been warned that the bridegroom is coming. They didn't prepare. That is what it means. It's time for you to prepare. It's time for you to come out, for, out of anything you know you are not supposed to be in. And don't listen to what people are saying. Um, some people want to re remain at that part. Oh, there, it's not yet the end. It's... Jesus himself even told us he doesn't even know when he's going to show up. And some of the signs people are watching to tell, we are here, we are at the time of the four horsemen, we are at the time of this. Some of them are happening secretly without us knowing because the mainstream media over there is also at the arm of the enemy. It will refuse to tell you whatever is happening, important thing that is happening behind the scenes, you will never broadcast it, you will keep quiet. CERN just activated the hydron, um, the HCL, the hydron collider. Now that, that thing there is supposed to open other dimensions and bring other entities into this world. Have they showed it to you on your television? Have they spoken about it on the radio? All they are doing on the normal media is to distract you and to keep you ignorant. And I'm coming here to tell you and inform you. Get into connection with the Holy Spirit. Get in connection with the Holy Spirit. This thing we are doing in church Training people to be dependent on us is wrong. The, the pandemic was one month. What happens? Six months time. What happens with the next pandemic? If it's six months, will your church members still be Christians after staying home for six months? Or are they going to, or are they going to backslide? If you teach them well, even, even though they are not in the church building, even in the house, they will still be growing stronger and stronger in the things of God. This is the, this is the message people have to be told. Don't train people to come to always depend on you. And they have told you that God is, in all, is only in the four, uh, four buildings of the church. It's wrong. God is everywhere. If people would adopt that, this concept that God is everywhere, is in your car, is in your room when you are sleeping, is there when you wake up, is there when you are transaction business, is there when you are traveling, People would people will keep an awareness of him with the, with them all the time, and they will stay away from sin. People think God is only in the four corners of the church. So when they are coming to church, they drop everything. When they go back home, they take they pick everything up. So I'm telling you this morning. Do not be ignorant, because the devil, through ignorance, is deceiving many. And he has told you that in the end of the days, even the, some of the elites will be deceived by the devil himself. He's a master, he's a master trickster. So you know, have to know the word of God for yourself. You have to read it for yourself. If you allow yourself to read it for yourself, he will bring the revelations. If you go to him yourself in prayer and ask for the Holy Spirit, he will release it because this is the time, this is the season. Daddy said, what? I'm going to pour my flesh on all, I'm going to pour my spirit on all flesh. I'm going to pour my spirit on, on all flesh, and this is the time and season. Anybody who asks for it is going to release it. 
please let's move away from this ignorance that is taking over and swallowing the church we are supposed to be ready but a lot of us are not we are more relaxed and there are people who have been crying once when you start saying things like this they start complaining they don't want the truth they don't want to be prepared for what is ahead and they you see some like the foolish virgin some will sit down to finally the son of man appears in the sky before that they try to go and become but better Christians. There is no time. I'm telling you today. This is a grace period you have. We don't know what is happening tomorrow. And like I've told you people, watch out for the next king that is that comes to England. Watch out for this man, the next king of England. And people are still sitting down. Why? What are you waiting for? Fill yourself with the spirit. They that, as, they that will serve him in spirit and in they that, they that, um, they that uh, are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Why did he say that? They that are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And those who say they are serving him well, they will serve him in spirit first and in truth. God is a spirit, he's not a man, he's not a flesh. This is a little I'll say to you this morning, still Christ without borders, please. Move away from ignorance and stop letting people deceive you. It's time to prepare for the coming of this man.